Hello, my sewing friends. My name is Jen, and I want to welcome you to my sewing room, which isn't finished yet, although it will be soon. I am standing here at my work table, which is beyond amazing. It doesn't have a tabletop yet. It's just um, some bookcases that have been kind of brought together. But, oh my gosh, it's such, it's so high. I mean, cutting out fabric is going to be such a breeze with this. So, what I want to tell you about is a haul that I have. Uh, I just want to show you some of the highlights from it. But, this was amazing. I have two friends, Carmen and Sharon. They both have YouTube channels. And we have a group text going, so we talk from time to time. We did a collaboration where we all made maxi dresses. We used the same fabric, but we used different patterns. And so you may have seen that on Instagram. You may have seen it on our YouTube channels. But um, we talk fairly often. And Carmen and I don't live very far from each other. So we have lunch and I love her, love her. There are a lot of people in my life, not very many of them that I can say that about. But I really enjoy her company. I feel so connected to her. It was just like, I don't know, I, I don't know. First time I met her, you know, you just, you just kind of know. She's one of your people, you know? <laughs> so anyway, she is very active on Facebook Marketplace. She's always scouring for um, things, finding things there. And so she is your person if you want to find something amazing on Facebook Marketplace. So she texted Sharon and I and said, oh my gosh, you're never gonna believe this. I went over to uh, possibly buy some things from a woman on Facebook Marketplace and she said look I'm moving I don't I just need to get rid of this stuff so take whatever you want and she gave it to her this uh, woman's name is Suzanne she's a designer and Tropic Couture I think is the name of her shop on Etsy and then she has an Instagram account that you can check out and also I think she's on Facebook and she has a website so Carmen's talking to us and giving us pictures of this fantastic hauls that she she had and then she said uh, she had a few things left over and I said what what because I'm not that far from Carmen and so I said where is she and she said where she was and so I I got a hold of the woman and I said listen I will take whatever you have left I will be happy to take it off your hands and she said please please do so you see this box of patterns. There are 154 patterns. Oh my gosh! Man, I just, just saying those words makes me want to just fall down and die of shock. And then there's the fabric. I didn't get much fabric. Most of what it, I got was um, special occasion fabric, but oh my goodness. Couple of knits, about three bolts of tulle, like netting, and, you know, with all the special occasion stuff, I thought, God, are you trying to tell me that, you know, four of my five girls are thinking of getting married? <laughs> when am I going to hear about this? Because you know the first words out of their mouth are, you're going to make my dress, right? Yeah. Oh, probably. Probably. Yeah. Anyway, so I pulled out the highlights, and I just want to show you those. I have... Uh, some patterns, my favorites uh, from the whole thing, and then I have some um, of the fabrics. So let me start with those. This is a knit, and it's got like a window pane texture to it. And it's a little bit sheer, and it's crinkly, and there's quite a bit on this bolt. So um, th I, I don't even, I can't even speculate on what I would make with these fabrics um, because I'm just still too overwhelmed by the fact that she gave them to me. But um, this has a beautiful, beautiful hand and it's, it feels so soft. And so, so that's the first one. That is a, let's see, a polyester knit. Um, this I just think is stunning. This is a poly, um, it's not a knit, it's more like, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a I don't even know what you call it, but look at this ombre and the sparkles. Isn't it gorgeous? It's oh, a chiffon, probably a chiffon. It's very sheer and um, yes, hello. Uh, but I just think it, um, 
dress skirt you can line it underneath even put just a little slip under it and oh my gosh it's just so pretty and it's uh, fairly light in that I mean it's not in your face special occasion you know I think that you could do um, something just for a, like dinner out and wear this um, you can make something out of it so anyway I just loved that ombre Woo, so pretty this is just a um, polyester chiffon. I'm uh, not sure. I'm sorry. It's a satin polyester satin, and I just loved the um, the print. You know, beautiful hand. It's just. It's got a it's very a satiny feel to it. It is kind of ravelly, so that makes me think maybe it's a woven polyester. But um, it just feels really nice. Woven satin. And uh, I'm trying to stack these up. The last one I want to show you is the Pièce de Résistance. Oh my gosh. This is 100% cotton, but it is an embroidered and sequined pearls and sequins. Heavy, heavy. Um, and the weave is almost like a shantung. But I don't know if Shantung can be done in cotton. I don't know, but that's kind of what it feels like. It's it's got that kind of a, um, I don't know, just the feel to it. Um, it's heavy. This stuff weighs a lot, and you know, it's the kind of thing that I would make um, like the bodice of a wedding gown from. So I don't know what's ever going to happen to this, but oh my goodness, is this not just gorgeous? Just beautiful. Beautiful off-white, oh, gorgeous. Anyway, okay, so those are all the fabrics. Now for the patterns, and I'm gonna try not to take too long with these, but um, you know, you know me, I'm always so gabby. The first one is the style pattern. There was only one of these. This is from 1991, I think, yes. And it is just the cutest little dress. I really liked it. I like the uh, empire waist. The pleats, it's just so free and easy. The line drawings, so pretty. That again from 1991. This is a McCall's pattern from, most of these are fairly new. This is, well, or okay, I say that, but that's maybe not necessarily true, 1995. And I love this. I love just the ease of the maxi dress. I love the back. And you know, I was looking at this and it ha it's a wrap. How pretty is that? Oh, just gorgeous. And I guess I should have noticed it from here. But yeah, I think you can make it without the wrap, but so pretty. What I loved was the back right here. I just think that's so pretty. Um, and that is McCall's 7591. I don't think I said that. Did I tell you this was style 2085? Yeah, I don't think I told you that either, but McCall's 7591. McCall 7385 is from 2016. I liked the maxi. I don't know about this uh, slit up the front, but I like the maxi. And to be honest, I'm not wild about those kind of necklines where they're open a little bit just because they're so hard to do. I would probably actually make this a v-neck, but beautiful sleeves and I like the way it's gathered right there. So yeah. Now this woman had lots of sizes of various patterns. Like you would see two of the same pattern and one was in like a 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and the other one would be in a 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, like that. So a lot of them are duplicates and I wanted to show you, and this is one of my favorites. She has all of these sizes, four, eight, 12, 16. It's like she skipped around with it. But this is a New York New York collection. McCall's 8783, and this is from 1997. Looks newer than that. And I just I love the back of the maxi. Very flowy, very comfy, very free and easy. Yeah, just my style. 8783 McCall's. Okay, so that's all the highlights of the McCall's. Now, moving on to the simplicity. Let's see if I can get the year. Oh my goodness. 
what do you have to know? 2014. This is Simplicity. Oh, I should have marked this. 1418. It is a Project Runway pattern, and what I like is the back, the back of the this one. Just so pretty. Very flattering. Fit and flare dress. Just not much to it. There are the line drawings. Yeah. Um, and the other simplicity that caught my eye immediately was, um, I think this is another one of those, it was off the counter, uh, 8046, and this is from, I know this is from a while ago, 2016, oh, not that long ago. This is a Patty Reed design. Now, it's for knits, and what I love is just the look of the dress. I would never do a bubble hem like that. I would just either bring it down to a maxi or, you know, make it um, short. But I love the way that they've done this with the stripe, how they've done the horizontal stripe here and then the vertical here and just all of the things about it. I just love. And here are the line drawings. And uh, I guess this has, does this have, what is that? Oh, this, whoops, do it this way. This is that flower thing she's got around her neck. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Okay, once again, this is Simplicity 8046. Patty Reed design. Okay, let's move on to Butterick. Um, here is one of the Butterick's that I really liked. 5679. It is from 2011. And it's just a top. But what I loved was this. Now, I would probably do this in a shorter sleeve, but I just thought that was beautiful. You know, just uh, with some leggings and a pair of boots, wouldn't that be gorgeous? And, you know, you've got all these options with the cowl neck or the shorter version, um, you know, the various hems. Just oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, this Verta pattern, I don't know what year it's from, to be honest. I don't even know where to look for the year, to be honest. It's just got copyright information down here, but no year. So, anyway, um, it is just an oddly shaped dress. And uh, I almost wasn't going to show it to you because I thought, this is just weird looking. But I think what I would do with this is just create a regular old hemline. But I love the square neck. I love all the seaming. Beautiful. The architecture of a dress just is what draws me. And see, here is the line drawing. You can kind of see where it goes in, and then it just kind of comes down in this cocoon kind of shape. And so I would just straighten that out but or flare it out. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? This is Berta 2657. 2657. Uh, and lastly, I'll show you the Vogue. This is Vogue 8856, and this is from 2012. I love this because, you know, it brings out my inner Peggy Fleming or Dorothy Hamill or take your pick, whatever skater person that you want to. Yeah, I love that. Just that little skirt on that just is so pretty. And wouldn't that be great lengthened to a dress? I just think that'd be fantastic. And there we go with the line drawings. Lots of color blocking options. And I love how this one is a little bit off. See how that color blocking happens? It's a little bit offset. Ah, oh, beautiful. This is beautiful. Vogue 7828 is from 19, uh, I'm sorry, 2003. Wow, look at the pleats on that wrap. Aren't those just gorgeous? Oh. Vogue. Vogue, I love you. I don't always love the construction, but I love the designs. There we go again. Um, now this one, I was, you know, debating on whether or not I loved it. I don't know that I love it. I don't know. This might turn out really differently on a person than it does on the envelope. Or a model on the envelope but this is Vogue 1225 it is a Tracy Reese pattern it is from uh, what year 2011 
and you know a couple of things about this i i think all the gathering and cinching in is very flattering very pretty and i don't know i would do it in a bright yellow like this but I, if you did it um in a darker color like a navy or a black this would be stunning just so pretty um it does call for uh jersey moderate stretch knits and it's got a whole list of them but here are the line drawings little gathered pockets there yeah just beautiful and the last one is a Donna Karen oh my gosh this is from 2012 2012 look at this gorgeous coat oh my gosh makes me wish I lived in a place where I need a coat <laughs> not really wow is this not absolutely just jaw-dropping gorgeous oh man this is pretty big shawl collar and um it, this is a purchased belt but oh my goodness it's so gorgeous this is vogue 1321 donna karen wow and that is it that those are all the highlights of this amazing haul um, again that was just gifted to me by this amazing wonderful designer uh, I hope you saw something you like here and I know uh, some of these are almost vintage some are vintage um, but oh, wow if you can get your hands on any of them they're just I, obviously I love them all a lot of these are also vintage but I have to tell you that most of them are uncut there are a lot of men's patterns in here too. Um, well, not a huge amount, maybe, you know, 10% of them are men's patterns, but a lot of really good ones, really good shirt patterns. And there are some, um, I don't know if there are any suit patterns. I know, um, yeah, shirts and um, shorts or pants. And then, um, yeah, just, you know, older like this older shirt patterns so they're vintage and I think that's got a jacket no that is a shirt <laughs> I think this has got pants too oh my gosh look at these pants <laughs> do not admit it if you remember those you saw nothing yeah anyway uh, that's it for now for me let me know in the comments uh, what you think of this whole thing and I will be back soon with my sewing room tour. I know I keep saying that, but I'm absolutely serious. It just takes a while to get it all done. Uh, that's Here. it for now for me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.